Blitzen Benz means the world's fastest car. In 1909 through a uh, few years actually, it was the fastest car in the world, indeed the fastest object in the world besides a bullet as they advertised. So, I mean, the fastest planes in the world would go maybe 70 miles an hour, fastest trains, you know, a little bit faster than that. So this was as fast as a human had ever gone before, is in, in the Blitzen Benz. The performance was uh, quite incredible. We're talking 200 horsepower, um, so an enormous amount of power for the time, when you really think about it. And a uh, very simple engine in, in many regards, very large engine. We're talking 21 and a half liters, so 1,300 cubic inches sound, sounds pretty big. And it was raced extensively on both the continent and here in the United States. So, um, Brooklands, we saw the car at Brooklands, some hill climbs uh, in Europe, but it really um, sort of made its mark here in the United States. Um, we saw the car at uh, Ordman Beach, we saw it at Daytona, we saw it uh, on small country fairgrounds all over the United States, and even Bonneville, actually. That uh, was one of the very first cars to ever run at Bonneville. At this particular point, Carl Benz had, had left the company and was not really interested in racing so much. And it, it's interesting how uh, Daimler, from the very beginning with Mercedes, was interested in racing and, and building racing cars. But for, for the Benz, the sort of uh, race on you know, Sunday, sell on Monday concept wasn't quite clear to him. Uh, it was the people that came after him and the people that were working for him who actually uh, were pushing to build the world's fastest cars and the most powerful cars, whether it was for Grand Prix or whether it was land speed record or hill climbs. What we represent at the Classic Center is that whether you buy a 1954 you know, 300 SL going, we're here to support you, but we're thinking more long term. We're thinking about where we're going to be in the next 125 years, and there'll be someone here to support you if you buy a new car today. If you buy a new SLS AMG Roadster, which is kind of one of the new cars that we brought, uh, we'll be here to continue to support the customer with durable product, um, but also service, which is, is important. It's getting everything in the right position. I like how raw it is. It's, it's not refined in, in terms of its engineering. If you look at the engine, uh, it's all exposed. It's, it's you know, kind of dirty, gets oil everywhere. Uh, it's probably the least politically correct engine ever made. I mean, 21 and a half liters fuel consumption, something like uh, 10 gallons a mile at, at full speed. So it, it's, it's not exactly the most green vehicle in the world. But, you know, it was a different time, and the engineers had what was in front of them, uh, which was a huge hurdle, as, as air resistance and horsepower, so they, they had to come up with ways to do that. And they were so talented at what they did, uh, and you look at it now and it seems foreign to us, but it was a logical step back then. But it's just a, it's a beautiful piece of machine. It's, it's, you know, like a watch that you can see all the insides of. That's what's really cool about it.